there's a dog out there. Look. My goodness. How beautiful. Look at him. He's such a pretty colour. Sorry, I'm not stalking the person. Hello. Manny just rang me. I had a doctor's appointment and it's kind of like this has been an ongoing thing for probably about two months now. I've just continuously kind of had UTIs and it's been so frustrating and I've been back and forth from the doctors. If you know me, you know that I avoid the doctors like the plague and I will literally be like half dead in bed and I will still not go to the doctors. And I don't like taking medication. I hate antibiotics. I was on, on and off antibiotics for the last two months, I've just been like one week after the other getting them. Like I just finished my antibiotics and then a few days later I have another UTI. And it's so inconvenient, like I would always get them halfway through a shift at work or like in the middle of the night. They were so painful, like I've never had a UTI as painful as that. I've had UTIs before and every time before I haven't got antibiotics and it's just kind of fixed itself up after a few days. Got to the second day at about nine o'clock at night, I was in crippling pain. Like I kid you not, it was probably the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. And every time I had gone to the doctor, they would send off urine samples and wouldn't find anything and I was getting really worried about the health of my kidney so I went today and she was like yeah so you have a sap infection in your bladder and I'm gonna put you on these antibiotics for another week I'm already on antibacterials because of my UTIs I have to be on them for six months I've literally like probably about three weeks ago come off of my antibiotics for my last UTI so now I'm about to go back on them again and I'm just like oh I got home from the doctor's appointment and I made myself a smoothie and then I've been lying here in bed since. Googling stuff about staff, which has been scaring me even more. I don't really know a lot about it yet. I need to do more, more research. All I know is that it's, it's not a good thing to have. <laughs> I want to get rid of it. Like being on antibiotics, I hate it because it's so bad for your gut bacteria. I feel like for the last two months, my gut flora just hasn't had the chance to rebuild itself after each cycle of antibiotics. Like I like healing stuff naturally, but this sort of stuff, I don't think it can be healed naturally. I think it can be managed naturally, but once you've got it, like I just want to get rid of it basically. But anyway, all of that aside, I'm gonna stop feeling sorry for myself now and I'm gonna get up and get ready because tonight Manny and I and our roommate and a heap of their friends are all going to Sticky Fingers. My God, there's another dog. There's another dog. Oh, he's gone. Look at this baby out here, enjoying the sunshine. Hey, Sadie lady. Is that nice sun? It's the first sunny day we have had in so long. Oh, look who's here. Hello. Sticky Fingers was so good last night and this morning I was totally prepared to have a really productive morning, like go for a morning walk, get up early and everything. We didn't get home until like 11.30ish last night, almost midnight. Um, we ended up staying up and watching the episode of The Bachelorette that we missed. Hello. Hey. And it was probably like 1, 1.30 by the time we finally got to sleep. So, Manny didn't have work until 10 this morning, so it was a pretty slow start. It's about 9.30. I'm just sitting here eating my breakfast. It's a smoothie bowl with a Tropica vanilla lean protein, one whole frozen banana, about a handful of frozen blueberries, a handful of spinach, uh, cacao powder, turmeric powder, maca powder, and this greens powder I have then topped with peanut butter, chia seeds, and coconut chips. 
And I have that smoothie bowl pretty much every morning and like slightly change it, but it's basically the same every morning. Sitting here eating fat and watching Shane Dawson's new episode. I think it's the last one actually, on his series about Jake Paul and oh my God, it's mind blowing. And at 12.30, there's a B Barless class at the gym. And I normally go to the bar class and it's like basically the same. You just don't use the bar. So I think I want to go there. I haven't tried it yet. Actually blind right no. now. Birthday. Let's just put a random birthday. My You're school is... You're up in my grill. <laughs> like, no, class school is like... to the gym and I'm like totally not feeling it today but it's just so gloomy and dark outside and I find it really hard to motivate myself when it's like this. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try motivate myself enough to go for a run afterwards but that might be later tonight. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be great and I'm gonna feel amazing afterwards because I always do. I'm just gonna motivate myself. Well, it's about two. I'm coming from the gym. I haven't had lunch because I'm just not hungry. I forgot. I still need to go and get my prescription filled for my antibiotics. So I'm probably going to go for a walk and do that. I'm just eating a handful of nuts because I'm like a little bit baggage. But I think the main problem is I just can't be bothered to make lunch right now. <laughs> Only I'm a real foodie. But when I think of anything, I'm just like, eating is such a burden right now. You know? Good, thank you. Just wanting to pop in that one, thanks. Okay. Thank you. So I've steamed up, whew, I've steamed up my broccoli and then I'm going to cook these with some sauces and spices and stuff as well. And I kind of make them like smoky, I put them like bacon mushrooms. Then, oh sorry, Soraya's just decided she's gonna go to the toilet right now. Soraya, excuse me. I've got this cauliflower rice that I've cooked before. This sautéed kale, and I just sautéed it in coconut oil. It took me so long to get on the kale train, but now I'm so on it. Cauliflower's <laughs> all done, and now I'm doing the mushrooms. So I do it in a pan with a little bit of water, just heated. Oh God, this is so hard to do it with one hand. Bad teaspoon of garlic. This to share. Mm, probably a bad teaspoon. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> God, <laughs> I just got some on the wall. Oh my God. I wrote some cocoa aminos. So this is like soy sauce, but just with less salt and healthier and gluten free. And the best part, some smoky paprika. And I add quite a lot of this because it's like my favourite spice ever. I'm gonna absolutely douse them in it. That one. I recently found this, so it's basically just salt with herbs and vegetables in it. And it's really yummy, it adds a nice flavour and it's like, adds a little bit extra to the salt, a bit of nutrition. So, about that much of that. And then I let these cook down for three minutes. That off of there. Chair. Oh, sorry, babe. Can you pop? Thank you. Sit here and eat my lunch, and I'm gonna watch Sarah's Day's new video. I'm trying to add like more gut friendly foods into my diet, like fermented foods, like the sauerkraut, to try kind of counteract the antibiotics that I'm taking. And I might end up getting a probiotic, but 
I feel like I want to try to do it through food rather than just getting another tablet, you know? Can you hear that? That was Sadie's toy. As well as just eating really basic foods and trying not to eat processed foods at all. And I've also been trying to cut back with gluten. I've found that gluten, and I've known this for so long, but I just chose to ignore it because gluten is delicious. But gluten does bloat me a little bit and I don't really feel great after gluten. Like it doesn't give me energy like food should. Like I still eat it on special occasions, but like on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm trying not to eat gluten. Bowls like this, they're so simple, but they're so delicious. You've just got to add the right seasonings and stuff. I am obsessed with broccoli. Like I could each literally eat just a bowl of broccoli and kale at the moment. So like this is right up my alley. For dinner, I'm making a ratatouille, which I've never made before and I've never eaten before. Preheat the oven. I'm gonna say it's 180, maybe. And we're gonna need the, ooh, hang on. Alex must have been over. He works for a yogurt company and he said that he was going to bring me some of their new yogurt that they make. Before I cook dinner, I'm going to taste test that. I really like the packaging. It's super cute. Oh, And it's almond based, which I normally have coconut yogurt. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so solid. Look at that. I don't know whether it's meant to be that texture. I've never been a huge yogurt person because I'm all about textures and the texture of yogurt kind of freaked me out. Before I was vegan, I'd go through phases where I was like obsessed with yogurt and then all of a sudden I hated it because I just couldn't stand the texture and this texture is very nice. Mm. I really like the flavour, texture not so much. We need two zucchinis that are quite large, large eggplant, four Roma tomatoes, one red onion. Now I'm gonna oil my pan with just some olive oil. And now that's all. So you combine tin tomatoes, a quarter of a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, then add some minced garlic, rosemary, oregano, parsley, basil. We'll combine all of that. And then we add it to the bottom of our pan. And then spread it out so it covers the base. Now we layer our veggies. We're now gonna bake it for an hour. Right in there. All showered and fresh, and the ratatouille should be ready. It smells so good in here. Oh my god. Look at that. I'm so so excited to try this. It smells amazing. Mmm. My god. This is so good. Mmm. I'm gonna watch the. Uh, I'm gonna eat this, watch Graham Norton, and then probably have an early night. Oh, hello. You wouldn't like this. It's not for cats. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.